<laughs> oh my God, I love him. I love him like a brother. There he is, CC Sabathia. What is going on, my man? How are you? What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? Ah, oh, we're doing stuff. great. Good stuff. Uh, Good stuff, CC. Let's get to let's let let's get to the uh, important stuff. I am rooting for your Raiders Saturday night to upend the Dolphins because if the Raiders beat the Dolphins and then the Browns win on Sunday, the Browns are in the playoffs for the first time since 2002. Can you make the magic happen? Man, I'm over football. You see, I wore this this Brooklyn uh, Nets hoodie on here just to, just to show you that today marks the era of my Brooklyn Nets fandom. Football season is over for me. It's always over for me by December. So then I have to pick, I pick a new basketball team. Now KD's in Brooklyn, so... This is my Brooklyn shirt. This I wore this for you, Rose. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 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 CC, time out. You know, because I'm a sneaky little Raiders fan with you. It's frustrating, but we have to believe. And is it amazing? No, seriously, if they get a W Saturday and the Browns somehow you know get a W on Sunday against the Jets, the Browns finally get to the the playoffs, which we've been making fun of Rose for years with the tire little brown little jerseys he wears. No, I'm excited. I mean, I, I think it's a great thing, but but depending on the Raiders to do anything for you, Rose, I'm telling you, it's been 40 years of my life I've been depending on them to, to, to deliver me a good football season. So <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't count on them too much on Saturday. But I'm rooting for you. You know how much I, right. I love the people of Cleveland. You know how much I love the Browns. So I'm rooting for you. I just wouldn't count on the Raiders. Uh. I appreciate that. Let's make a turn. Uh, I thought that I was looking good because I've dropped 25 pounds since uh, since the spring. My man, are you trying to get in fighting shape or something? What do you weigh? About 205? Yeah. Man, hey, I'm just I'm just I'm lifting like I'm going to the beach. I'm trying to get ready to go to the Vegas pool parties, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's the secret, though, man? You got to give me the secret. Is it just straight up 6 in the morning? Because I see your workouts. They're way earlier than people are waking up, especially when you're done playing, and now you're in freak mode. Yes, yeah, it's, it's straight up 6 in the morning. Action Bronson, I'm working out with him every day pretty much. Uh, he's super motivated. He's down 140 pounds. Um, I'm only down, like, 45 pounds. But, you know, I didn't want to, like, get too small and, like, all frail. So, you know, I've been lifting heavy. This is the, this is the most I've ever – Lifted like upper body, like it's it's crazy, but it's been a lot of fun. I mean, what else I'm gonna do? I'm retired. Lifting golf, that's it. All right, yeah. but that's yeah. Right. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you've got four kids, but what is what is Mama? What is what does Amber think of the new Svelte CC? Huh? She hates it. <laughs> what? <laughs> she, she's like she's like the Yankee fan. She wants to be big, man. She like the Yankee fan. So, uh, nah, she don't, she don't, she's not really into the new, uh, the new CC. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Well, let's get some fun stuff, man. So, on Instagram now, you announced in 2021, you got a book coming out, CC Sabathia Till the End. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, just a memoir um, that I wrote uh, with Chris Smith, and it just goes into detail about my life. You know, growing up in California, um, you know, playing, you know, I played everything, all sports, and you know, uh, going through everything I went through with addiction and battling that stuff and being able to come back and pitch. Um, you know, I thought it'd be cool to be able to tell my story and, um, you know, hopefully people are, are into it. I think it's going to come out, uh, you know, summer 2021. So I'm excited uh, for people to see this doc tonight and, you know, for the book to come out uh, in, in the yeah. summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, I have, I have HBO Max and the family and I will be watching tonight in the theater. Uh, about your story mm -hmm. tonight, so so let us know. Give us the give us the Cliff Notes version of what I'm going to be seeing, but don't give me don't give me the good stuff. Nah, I mean it's it's just you know <laughs> everything I went through in my career, you know, growing up and and like I said with the book, just growing up in Cali. I think the the, the best thing that I like about the doc is that it shows me and my father's relationship. You know, a lot of times in my story, mm. people like to paint my mom is a single you know black mom that raises athlete, which. She's an amazing woman. Everybody, you know, we all know that. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. But my father played a huge, huge role in my life. And, you know, I think that'll come across tonight on this documentary. And I'm excited for people to see that part of, of my story. That's awesome. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to watch tonight. Uh, Cece, I've known you a long time, man. You used to come on, you know, really when you started your career with the Tribe on, on Best Damn Sports Show period. You came out and you joined the fray and you got in the mix, man. Uh, give me your best memory from being with the tribe. From being with the Indians? 
everything about it. I mean, you know, I got drafted yeah. there uh, when I was 17. Um, you know, I was a, I was a kid and, you know, having, you know, Mark Shapiro running the organization, you know, Charlie Manuel, uh, Dick Poe was my first pitching coach um, in the big leagues, you know, Carl Willis. It was like a family um, there. So I love everybody in that organization, top to bottom, Mike Segge, the traveling secretary. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I was fortunate that I got drafted to that organization to be able to mature and, and turn into the pitcher that I needed to turn into to have a career I did. Yeah, but you also got to shower with Bartolo Colon. I just showed <laughs> off the big sexy t-shirt, man. How, what, what sort of experience was that? You know, I don't even remember. That was so long ago. So. <laughs> yeah, what, what kind of question is that, man? I know this coming up to the end of the show when you ask questions like that. <laughs> hey, it is IT, dude. I mean, come on. We, we want to know what the real deal is. I got nothing for that. I got nothing for that. He had question. a great arm. <laughs> he had a great arm. <laughs> that's right. All right. So I want to ask you, I want to ask you a little advice. See, that's a good answer right there. See, just keep it straight. But I want to ask you because you've been traded, you've had teammates, you've had best friends on teams, and then you leave them, and now I got Chris Rose, and I, we've been doing this 10 years, and now we're not going to be doing it anymore. So you have any advice for me? How do we stay friends now? Oh, I mean, oh, you, gotta, you, definitely, you guys are definitely going to stay friends. I mean, the families are close, and, you know, you text back and forth all the time, but it's going to be, I mean, I, you know what? It's going to be hard to get me back on this show without Rose Millar. I'm telling you that right now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. I'm going to the soil, man. I've been doing that dude for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have to we're gonna have yes. to investigate how I come back on this show. Rose may have to come on for my appearance. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Before you go, uh, CC, you might be a retired player now, but you're playing a prominent role in, in the Players Alliance. So fill us in on, on what we're doing in the off season here. Yeah. So the Players Alliance is, is on the pull up neighbor tour right now. We just ended the first half of it. Um, you know, and it's been great. We started on Giving Tuesday, um, and, and we've, you know, toured this half of the country. Um, you know, after the, the holiday, we'll get back to it. And I think it's been a lot of fun. I mean, the, you know, players are coming out um, in, in every city. Um, you know, not just the black players. It's been, you know, every ethnicity coming out to help out. Um, and, and this is going to help out every community. So I'm just excited to be a part of the Players Alliance um, and what we're, what we're going to continue to keep doing uh, throughout 2021 and beyond. Well, listen, we love the work that you continue to do with the Players Alliance, the CC Pitching Foundation that you and Amber run and have done such a magnificent job with over the last decade plus. And CC, listen, you know, our friendship will continue. Um, but I do want to say this publicly, how much you have meant to me and my family over the years. You've embraced uh, my family, my kids. You've been so good to them over the years. And, and it's just exciting to see what your four children are doing and it's not going to be surprising if mm -hmm. I can't even call him Little C anymore when Little C is a guest on this show as a major leaguer. I'm just – I'm putting it out there, my man. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, man. And like I said, we've been knowing each other for 20 years, and it's been a great friendship. Um, I mean, even, you know, to in the wake of the, of the death of, of George Floyd, you know, me and you talking and having great conversations, like, you know, I appreciate our friendship, you know, offline. So that'll that'll continue. And, and uh you know, like I said, Malar, we'll have to renegotiate my appearances on this show from, from here on out. Hey, that's a, hey our time could be Sounds spent great. on the golf course because I know I know you're getting that tight because Tahoe's around the corner. I'm getting I'm getting the game tight. I'm in the simulator every day. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna be ready, man. I'm I'm definitely not gonna be barking. <laughs> I love it. See what two hundred and fifty million dollars can buy you can buy you a, a golf simulator. If Malar had actually been better at baseball, he would have had one of those in the crib too, CC. Just wanna let you know. <laughs> A three-two change now. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. That better be in the documentary. How I embarrass <laughs> Uncle Kevin. A <laughs> three-two change <laughs> uh, Love it. Hey, Cece, uh, you and your family uh, have a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, continued yes. success. I'm going to hit you up Saturday when the Raiders, if they don't do their thing, you, you know you're going to hear from me. Oh yeah, for sure. I, well, so I'll be looking. I'll be looking to hear from you then. So I, I mean, I'm definitely not counting on them, but I, I but it's definitely good luck to do in the Browns because I know how much you guys need that for sure. That That's way, right. CC Sabathia, one of the classiest guys around. Happy holidays to you and the Sabathia family.
Thank you, guys. Oh, man. You got it. What a good dude. The best, man. You're still, you're still chapped over mm. that 3-2 changeup, huh? It's, it, it's the one shoe and the, 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 I'll never get rid of because it, CC Sabathia sent me over some shoes and he said, sorry, 1-5 for the 3-2 changeup. That'll never happen again. And it was the one <laughs> pitch I would never have ever thought he would have thrown me because the two-seamer would have been just fine with a 6-3 or the slider for a swing and miss. And he went 3-2 changeup, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful.